Hi again, everybody. This is the practical part of the exam. So we are going to halt her said pony, which she's always thrilled about. <laughs> and then kind of get her face away from the wall, just for convenience sake. And she knows the drill with this. So I just try and, you know, that's why I holster this little monkey. This is going to be an example. It's not actually full of anything. She already got her treatment for this morning. She'll need it tonight, though. So basically, I just have this little monkey in its holster in my pocket, and then I either have the 10 cc's of vitamin in my teeth or also in a pocket. Either way, as long as this doesn't fall in the dirt, you're fine. So how the vet told me to do it is, you know, first of all, I just like to come up here and make her feel loved because she's about to have an unhappy experience. So come on over here and, you know, love on her a little bit. And then you have to slide your hand underneath the cheek piece of her halter. And she's pretty good about this whole thing now. But what this does is it stabilizes your wrist and like the first part of your palm. So you're not going at it like this. Ah, and then you like poke her in the eye by accident and there's a big goddamn problem. So we're gonna try and avoid that. And how do you do that is by anchoring your hand to her face. If she moves, your hand moves appropriately with her face. You never poke her, it's awesome. So now the vet told me that you pick her eyelid up right here and there's a lot of fight reflex there. She hates it, she'll throw her face, she acts like a cow, it's a pain. Not happy experience. So what I figured, a little variation on that, which she appreciates much, much more, stays quiet, doesn't really throw her head, is I'll just quietly put my thumb right here. You can already see from the original middle of the eyeball she's offended. So now, but you see, I got my hand right on the corner of her eye, and I'm kind of making her feel happy. She's quieter. She's not throwing her head. She's not being a turd. So then, again, just lay your thumb there, kind of let her relax, and then pick it up. Sometimes it's harder than others. So you can see she's got the white of her eye and the inside tissue of her eye showing. Now, if anything, I've, if she moves her head into me, it's actually a little easier. So then I'll kind of pet on her. So right here, lift it up. Let's say I have medicine in here. I go to go easy squirt, not power washer, like shoot it in there. She's actually really good if you just easily squeeze the syringe get it in there, and then she'll normally, like, she's probably gonna get mad, but if you do this, and you squirt it in there, and she gets kind of frustrated, she's like, yay, it's done, and then I just give her cuddle times, because she's offended, and she doesn't like eye meds, because nobody does. So you just give her some cuddles, and I normally do the eye treatment, and then the banamine, so then, just like you would any paste or whatever, I just elevate her face, give her a nice little pet, make sure she doesn't hate me, which is unavoidable, and then just near, stick it in there, dink. If she doesn't lick her lips or anything, I'll just stick my finger in, break the seal of her tongue, make sure she swallowed it so she doesn't spit our money all over the ground because that sucks, and let her go. I know, I know. And give her a treat because that banamine smells like pure chemicals. I can only imagine what it tastes like. So that's it.